My last comment, my dear brothers and sisters, there was a piece of news yesterday in the New York Times I read that a gentleman, a professor, his name is Khalid al-Asad. This man was in charge of the archaeology department of Syria. He was in charge of the, uh, the historic sites of Syria, particularly Palmyra which is in Arabic, Tadmur. This man devoted 40 years of his life taking care of the, the artifacts of Syria. 40 years of his life watching after these precious items. And he was a major source, major authority in artifacts in Syria. This man, instead of being appreciated, honored, ISIS took him from his house. He was 83 years old, imagine. When ISIS took over Palmyra, his relatives advised him to leave. He says, no, I'm not leaving because I'm 83 years old. They are not going to come after me. Unfortunately, they did. They went after him. And they executed him by beheading him. And not only that, they displayed his body and his severed head in the main square in, 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 in the town. This is a matter of embarrassment for Muslims, my dear brothers and sisters. Wallahi, it is a source of embarrassment. They do this in the name of Islam. They kill scholars in the name of Islam, in the name of Allah. The word Allahu Akbar has become synonymous to terrorism, to murder. When they kill an innocent people, they invoke the name of Allah. They say Allahu Akbar. For foreigners, Westerners, when they hear the word Allahu Akbar to them, it means killing, murder, death, terrorism. Our religion is being hijacked by this group, ISIS. And it's a matter of, of agony to see a leader in an Anbar. I was watching him yesterday. You know Anbar has been occupied by ISIS. A leader of a big tribe in Al Anbar issued a statement. I saw him myself. He was telling Saudi Arabia that we are willing to join you in your war against the Houthis. Why don't you go and liberate your own land from the ISIS? Instead of offering your help to the Saudis to fight the Houthis, why don't you go and liberate your own land that has been occupied by these thugs, murderers? You don't have to go and kill the Houthis all the way in Yemen. All you need to do is be brave, patriotic, and go after the terrorists in your own land. See how sectarianism has been dividing us, making some of us so blind that we do not see the truth anymore. We cannot distinguish between a criminal and innocent, between a bunch of terrorists and people who have a problem with their own government. 